Hey YouTube, I just want to do a, sh a quick little show off of my home network that I set up this week. I have a 2,900 square foot house, two story, and I just bought this house in December and I really wanted to uh, run ethernet cables throughout the whole house. So that was my goal this week was to basically run two CAT 6A cables through each room in the house, which I've done here. So this is just some conduit pipe that I've set up and basically it takes some of the cables in from this top room, which is the office, feeds it all the way down here. And then there's some more cables here that go over to my access point and another room in the house. I still need to tuck those cables. And then there's one cable that goes through my cold air return. Yes, I've heard not to, you know, do that all the time, but you know, I think people do it all the time. So uh, I just have the one cable that goes through here, feeds back in through there, all the way down to my patch panel, which then feeds into my switch. Uh, I still have to clean this up a little bit. I just finally got it working the other day. Um, I have a 10 gig DAC cable that feeds in for my USW Pro uh, 24 port non-POE switch to my UDM Pro. Um, I really gotta say these uh, Ubiquiti equip equipment is actually really nice. Um, I don't know a ton about the hardware. Uh, I know I can set up security cameras with this guy and have everything run through him. Uh, I've already messed around with the software quite a bit and everything seems to be working really well. Uh, I do plan on getting a NAS for down here for Plex and um, also hosting, you know, whatever files or security camera footage I need. Here is just my ISP modem. Um, I currently do not have fiber yet. I'm just running an RJ45 cable through here up to my UDM Pro. Uh, I plan to get fiber one day, but yeah, not, not right now. So, but yeah, this is really great equipment. Um, this is a 12U server rack. I still got some cleanup there. Um, really nice. These are just the POE injectors for my Nano HD access points, which I can take you around over here, show you. I decided to put this in my basement for now uh, till I decide where I want to put it in my first floor. And this just goes all the way around. Feeds over there, like so I gotta clean that up. And just goes back into my network rack over here. Um, I just got some pieces of wood and basically had a buddy uh, help me drill these into the concrete. But the server rack's great. Um, I really like everything that I got going. It does have the keys here. So if I needed to lock it, I could. Um, I got the side panels on each side. Those are key too, so, but those easily come off and I can get in there. The bottom is still a little bit of a mess. I gotta figure out how to, you know, organize these power cables, but I have a uh, power strip back there, which has a quick on off uh, and reset switch if I ever need to do anything. I just wanted to quickly show you uh, the cable I used uh, to route everything throughout the whole house. Uh, this is all CAT 6A uh, F slash UTP cable. I think the F stands for foiled, uh, but I always forget what the UTP stands for. Um, so I think this is this is pretty much rated up for 10 gig. I don't know if I ever get 10 gig, but it's you know future proofing a little bit. Um, got this in mono price. I think it was like $130 for 500 feet. Uh, this was plenty for what I needed because I just needed to run the two cables in each room, like I said. Um, and then the two nano HD access points that I have. One in the basement, like I said, and then one all the way upstairs. Uh, I still have plenty left over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add, uh, or when I'm gonna add the security cameras, but I might have to get some more. Um, this was the fishing line, fishing wire that I used to uh, have all the cables run. Uh, this stuff was $10, I think, at Harbor Freight. It was 33 foot, 
Uh, this actually worked out really well. I definitely recommend it. And yeah, I mean, honestly, this I, I heard other people using other things and this had some really great reviews on Harbor Freight. And like I said, I really recommend it. Uh, I think it helped out a lot, but. I just wanted to come upstairs real quick to show you one of the rooms that I hardwired in. Um, I was going off of these boxes for the location, but then I made my hole here and there was a water pipe behind there, or water line. So I had to you know, move over. But like I said, I just have two Cat 6A cables. Um, picked up these toolless uh, Cat 6A ethernet ports. For a lot of price, they were like, I think a dollar or something, but, and then got these face plates off mono of price and then went to Lowe's or Home Depot and picked up these, um, you know, wall plates, wall mounts, whatever you want to call them. But, uh, this is my sub for here. And like I said, each room has two of these. Yeah. Now coming from here, if you go out into the hallway, I have my access point, which has the ethernet port or the ethernet cable up there and then goes all the way across there into my closet. That's not this closet, but in this room, in there. I still need to run these cables back up through the attic so I can get, so I can get uh, rid of these loose lines. But um, this is a Unify Ubiquiti A port switch with a PoE pass in and then a pass, PoE pass through. And that's how I'm actually powering the access point that's upstairs. So this is the one cable that comes down from the basement, which had the PoE injector going into it. And then this is the cable that's going out through the attic and going back on the other end where the access point is. And this little switch was like a hundred bucks. Um, it's working out really well. Like I said, I just went to Lowe's or Home Depot and I got this wall plate that had the little uh, cable mesh right here. And that looks really good, I think. So, yeah, once I feed these back up to the attic, it'll look pretty good. Um, this is a managed switch, so you can manage everything through the software. And like I said, it's been really good. All right, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the dashboard for the UDM stuff, or the I guess the whole unified network. Um, this dashboard, I think the software is really great honestly the hardware is really great um, I like that everything is kind of managed through here you kind of see what you're kind of using for your bandwidth wise uh, down your upload and download um, you can track your most active clients you can see how the Wi-Fi is doing you can see all the clients um, you can set up all your um, networks that you need so this is really great. Uh, so here's the main dashboard. It shows your IP and everything, which I'm gonna block out. When you come to the topology part of this map, you can see how your network is working. So here I have my UDM Pro, and then that is plugged into my switch, which one cable is going out into my bottom floor uh, nano HD currently I don't have anything hardwired in the main floor yet um, here is my switch port for upstairs and I have my hardwired PC upstairs and then I have my other nano HD upstairs and uh, my phone it says all these things are on my network upstairs most of my stuff is upstairs um, it's kind of interesting how it picks what has the best signal because I would think that uh, the TV that I have downstairs would go to my bottom floor uh, network or my nano HD, but maybe it's, it's you know it still says it has 99% uh, Wi-Fi rating, so that's pretty good. I mean, honestly, and I don't really care as long as the Wi-Fi rating is great. That's all that really matters to me. Um, if we go into here, you can actually look at all of your unified devices, and I'll tell you how you know if they need updates or whatnot. So here you can see that I have a one gig connection going into my UDM Pro and then connected to my UDM to my Switch as a 10 gig port. So I've been using that and then going into my Switch that's upstairs is one gig and then of course my two Nano HDs. Uh, I get these fixed 
IP addresses. And there's tons of videos out there that can show you how to set up your firewall and uh, you know set these IPs. There's a ton of information that when you click on them, it will you know show you all this stuff, which is super helpful. Um, shows you you know how many people are connected to this, and you can just set up a bunch of different settings through here. Um, here showing you all my clients, nothing new there. Um, statistics, so this is like all the websites and uh, files and games and everything. This just kind of keeps track of it all. And it's kind of interesting to look through this and see how much data you actually use. Um, 129 29 gigs, I think that's a month. Um, that's pretty crazy, honestly. And it's honestly really cool to have all this information in one spot. And then here are my two Wi-Fi networks. Uh, I have this IoT network for my like Google devices, uh, the Frobo, just anything that I don't really want the those devices talking to my main network. Um, I put those on there. And then for right now, I just have a uh, my personal network. I still need to set up a guest network for the people that aren't here all the time. So my wife and I, um, I have us set up so we're always on this personal network so all our trust devices are here but it'd be good to have a um, guest network so they can't communicate with the IOT devices and whatnot so so and then here I'm not gonna bore you guys with everything there's tons of different videos out there that can show you how to go through all these settings but right now I just have a managed network and that's mainly for uh, my computer to hardwire in and basically manage all the stuff, all the IoT and all the, you know, uh, Unify equipment. So I just don't want everybody on the main network um, having access to do all that. So, th and like I said, Unify gives you a great experience with editing, editing all this stuff. The hardware uh, works flawlessly with everything. And I'm really happy that I invested in it. And I think it's really gonna make my whole network um, that much better. So thanks for watching. Um, if you guys need anything, put something down in the comments or if you want to tell me what I should be looking at next or you know if I should be checking anything out, just let me know. Uh, appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.